All right. I'm Marge. I'm from Fashion Index. I'm introducing Tirsa. Tirsa is our MC. You guys know that if you follow us. Tirsa, tell us what's going on. Hey, everybody. Today, we're here with Claudia from Moda Labs, and we're taking this opportunity to share a little bit about her so everyone gets to know about her business and, and what they're up to. As you know about Fashion Index, we are an online platform that loves to bring the community together around sustainability and circularity. And it's small to mid-sized businesses. So if you're looking to find a new resource, be it a human resource, material resources, manufacturers, all the way through the process, you can go to Fashion Index and find those wonderful resources. Claudia and Moda Labs is one of them. And so today, chatting with her and, and getting a chance to know a little bit more about their business. And Claudia, I would love for you to introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about Moda Labs, how it got started and what, what you guys do. Sure. So I'm Claudia. I'm the founder and CEO of Model Lab. Model Lab is basically a, a full range development services for the fashion industry. So we serve small and big brands. We help them do pretty much everything that, that they need from start to launch. We offer uh, four different types services, business development, product development, manufacturing, and digital development. We have a super wide range of uh, products that we can actually develop for our clients. The good thing about working with us is that we're not just working with one factory or we are not a factory that specializes on one product or a couple of products, but we basically mentor and guide everyone that is working with us through different developments of different products. So it, sometimes it can be shoes, sometimes it can be apparel. And within that categories, there is an entire world. So it can be at leisure, it can be, it can be sportswear, it can be formal wear, gowns. We're doing a collection of gowns right now. So yeah, it can be a lot of things depending on the, on the client's request usually. That's fantastic. And you come from years of living in those shoes, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. So I started actually as a pattern maker and used to make samples, patterns, first of all, and then the samples, so the prototypes. And then I used to work for different fashion designers and they, they would develop these great collections or these great samples. And I realized that they didn't have the capacity or the skills or the knowledge to then go to market with these beautiful products. Mm. And so what I, th that's the realization I came to. And I started connecting all these other people. So starting from productions, so manufacturers to business analysts and creating business plans, and then all the way to digital development. Cause obviously Alex, my partner is an IT guy. So we knew that side of things pretty well. And so we connected all these little things to be able to enable people to go to market with their ideas and not just create beautiful products that would just sit on their house. Fantastic. That's amazing, Claudia. I was looking at everything, your social media and your website. The fabrics that I see your clients using, are, they appear to be silks and a little bit richer fabrics that you don't see unless people are producing product out of Italy, Spain, Europe, like, mm -hmm. um, was I, was I looking at the right thing? Is that what they, the fabric? Yeah, were? yeah, definitely. I mean, you can see it behind me. <laughs> we have a lot of fabrics and we have a lot of connection with the factories, the mills that actually produce these fabrics and they don't just sell them. They actually make them. And so, yeah, it can be anywhere from silk or it could be a jacquard, brocade, anything that you can think of, or different prints, laminated also, which is yeah. used for swimwear right now. It's a little bit trendy, um, iridescent, yeah, things yes. like that. I saw these beautiful leather, um, <laughs> like braided leather loafer or something. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, yes. You did see, right? Let me show you. I prepared a little bit of a table here for you to show you a little bit of the products. So let me show you around a little bit. So these are the ones that you're talking about, right? Oh, yeah, they were so beautiful. Yeah, these are, are actually a print. A print, print? Boss print on a leather. You can see it from here because when they attach the part with the glues for the underneath, it just uh, it went a little bit more uh, flat. 
That was so amazing. We produced this in vegan leather as well. They're gorgeous. Because, yeah, because uh, you know, the, not everyone loves leather. They they also like to have different type of things. Yeah. And these were produced in Spain, by the way. So we usually produce them between Italy or Spain, the, mainly. But also we can work with anything around the world. We just prefer to work with European made. Yeah, because it has a lot to do with sustainability and proximity. So we are usually here in Valencia, in Spain. And so for us, it's uh, it, actually the decision of coming and moving to Spain was based on that because we were needed next to the production facilities. If that makes sense. Yeah. And then Europe is very well known for all the strict regulations that you have around sustainability. And we love that. Absolutely. You have a lot of regulations, for example, for chemicals, waste, or for treating people in the right way when you yes. in workers. Yeah. So, yeah. Super we, important. Definitely Europe is leading the way in sustainability and ensuring that, that people are being taken care of in the right way and that the environment is being thought of and really guiding us on how we can, we can move as countries and societies. So I totally agree with you. And I love the fact that you have the multiple offices so you can be where your customers need you. And then you can be directly in touch with the mills and the factories and, and really hone in on all of the new things that are out there and make sure everything gets translated in the right way for your customer satisfaction and exceptional product. It, it makes it really easy, in fact, to negotiate, especially with Italian, because I'm Italian, so obviously it's easier for me. I've noticed also that when it comes to negotiation in Italy, it's, it's a little bit easier also to get a lower uh, MOQ. Yeah. Um, usually we start with like 60 pieces, where instead, for example, in Portugal, you need to have usually at least 100, if not 300 pieces. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on the type of client and not everybody can, can afford to create collection of 300 pieces per style. So yeah, so yeah, that's that actually is. amazing because you can have a broader product line um, and lower minimums to be able to achieve more styles. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah, that's, and that's we, we can actually divide those 60 pieces into different sizes and different colors as well. That's yeah. fantastic. They're not very picky. <laughs> That's awesome. It creates great flexibility for for smaller companies who want to offer a large collection. Maybe you have your own retail space and you and you want to you want to design everything yourself, or you know you just have an online mode of sales to really figure out and hone in on your, what your customer is looking for and offer some really special and unique pieces. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's the main thing when. When people come to us, they, they usually have a very particular or original idea that they possibly weren't able to develop with anybody else. And that's what we take pride in. Like it, it's really, it really gives, it gives a lot of satisfaction when you are able to create something that was difficult to create anywhere else. So let's put it this way. That makes a lot of sense. And the fact that you guys can tie it all together by showing them how to have digital presence with Alex and everything else. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you want to say hello to Alex? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Let's go. He's been listening to us the hello. entire time. <laughs> hello. He's obviously uh, around these computers. He's very comfortable in his, in his happy place. Correct. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's great. So good to meet you. Um, Claudia, tell us what else you have on that table. So here, what I put in here was basically just a little bit of an overview of all the collections we worked on, just to show you what, everything that is pretty much involved when you are developing a collection. So uh, when, you, when you think of a garment, you just think of sometimes just the pattern, and make the pattern and make the sample, but there are a lot of components for the garment. So all the trims, for example, so we can customize all the trims. These were beautiful cords that we used for a skirt that we produced. These are all collections that already launched. I can, show, I can show you everything. And we were using these cords over here. You have the labels, like care labels, all the brand labels, all the packaging that you have to be making. And then when, you, when it comes to sourcing, like we source a lot of different fabrics every time. 
and uh -huh. then you can see it in here. This is a jacquard fabric, stretchy, uh -huh. and this design was custom made within the fabric. Like it's not a print; it's actually threaded in. Wow, so, that's beautiful. And, yeah, and again with, with very low minimum. So this is the key key point here. Yeah, that is fantastic. What what country is the fabric being produced in? It depends. So it can be usually I have a lot of suppliers that are in Italy, but also around Europe. Some of them are also in Asia, but I would say probably just for the polyester things that we don't like to work with anymore. To be honest, these days because we like more sustainable. So that's why I prefer to to go with with this made in in Italy fabrics. Yeah, so they are made. Usually between this one, for example, the, the, the Chicago was made in Italy. Also the shoes one were made in Italy and then produced in, in Spain. And this beautiful fabric, which is a uh, brocade, it was for, for a coat uh, that we launched for a client and it was made in Italy as well. So oh, yeah, it really depends. That's great. Uh, I love it. Amazing. So let's see. The other thing that I wanted to kind of highlight is... Part of the major thing that we love about Moda Labs is how important it is to choose the right partner to help launch your brand. So many people, they think it's easy and they might even try to connect with someone too fast and not having done enough research. And I feel like it's super important to know what this company can offer you and what kind of advice are they giving you? One of the major things that really resonated with me when, when talking with Claudia was she really understands right away the importance of balancing your budget and making sure that you're putting the right amount of money toward development, but the right amount of money toward the building and promoting of your business. All of these components, you can't just run and produce garments and product. I, it's, it's kind of like working backwards if you do that. At Moda Lab, they really focus on like the whole package, how to make sure that you're doing your photo shoots, getting everything to look right, getting your website built, promoting your website, promoting your business. They really help to look at your business as a whole, not just as the product, producing product part. Yeah, it's, it's so easy to get involved so much into product development and especially for creative people. Um, they, mm -hmm. all they care about sometimes is just, you know, creating a beautiful product. Right. But there is so much more about a, a, a business in fashion or a fashion business that we, we help them to see all the other aspects that they also need to consider when starting a fashion business. Because at the end of the day, you have to treat it as any other business. Right. And the product development and the cre creative part is just one part of it. It's, it's not everything. Yeah. You're so right. It's important to build a client base and to, to establish a relationship with them in order to have somebody to buy your product. You can make the best product ever, but if you don't have a, a way, a vehicle to, to sell your product, to share your product with, with people who can fi to find your product, then you don't have anything. So right. it's super important to balance it all out. And, you know, yes, Marge and I both have a design background as well. And design is a great part of, of the developments and a very important part of it. But so is the how am I going to market it and how am I going to get it to my customers? So I really appreciate that you have that larger perspective that you can support your clients and guide your clients in, in, in that way. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it, because... We serve not just the fashion brands in the end, like for the entire thing, but sometimes we just, different people have different backgrounds. And also, uh, depending on how big the brand is, they will require us to be working on just a specific task. So when it comes to production and production management, also there you have to pay a lot of attention if you just pick your factory, but without really testing them, before that doesn't really end up <laughs> nicely usually so yeah it's it's very important that you spend a little bit of time and money in size around test runs that making sure that your production facility is exactly what you needed yes definitely true yep um that's amazing well i love this you're going to get consistent quality with your product because as for Claudia say, she's going to make sure that everything is covered, meaning not only your 
pre-production, like your tech packs, your samples, your fit samples, everything. But even when you're going into production, doing your test runs, testing your fabric, you never want surprises in the end, everybody. That's like the worst is to have surprises in the end. But to work with somebody like Claudia, you're going to get everything done in the right order, the way it should be done. So with that consistent quality, you, you have someone who understands the timelines that things need to happen in. So if you have a goal of, let's say, a spring 25 launch, she's going to give you your time frame backwards that you have to work in. Hitting those milestone dates are critical to maintaining yeah. your launch. But the nice thing is having someone who like Claudia, who knows the entire process and every single step that's involved, there will be no surprises. You're going to get everything done in those time frames as long as you, as the approver, are approving things on time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes, it's sometimes it's difficult, you know, to because everyone has their lives and sometimes they have multiple jobs also. Yeah. So sometimes it's difficult to get approvals also on time. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but knowing that you have a calendar that they need to stick mm -hmm. to is like, you know, they're investing their money. If they fall off calendar because they're not approving, then that's, you know, something that they have to understand is on them. But, yeah. um, but, um, in addition to all of this is you have the innovation expertise that Moda Lab. Moda Lab is seeing everything that's happening in the industry right now and actually ahead of time because in the fashion industry, we usually work a year and a half in advance on trend, on knowing what's happening as far as forecasting, colors, fabrications, all of it. When we work in the industry, we work usually a year, year and a half in advance. And you're going to get all of the benefit of all that knowledge because she's on it. This is just what she does for a career. And she's going to help you have your brand be on trend with what's happening, what should be happening when your launch is actually taking place. So that's another thing is you have to keep in mind the innovation and expertise that you're getting when you work with Motolab. Yeah. And by the way, we are a small team, so I have also... Um, fashion designer that works with us all the time, a visual and graphic designer that takes care of like the branding, creating packagings and all of that. And then a business analyst also for the business plans and financial projections. I mean, that's incredible. And you need all of that. Like all of that is critical in, yeah. in getting your brand launched. You know, uh, if you think about it, if Claudia was working with factories where their minimums are 60 pieces, um, her style, you can put a little collection together of six to 10 styles, right? Yeah. And then and then you kind of make sure that you're getting in with local boutiques, people who can help support your brand just to get you, just to get you up and running. You know what I mean? Get it up and running. You don't want to start like eating an elephant. You want to start small. <laughs> you know, and learn what, what is your customer like? What are they buying? What are your best sellers? Like, and then you just kind of keep building into those product lines. And all of this is what Claudia can help you get rolling with in the right direction with the right plan in place. I mean, the fact that they actually help you build out your business plan is incredible. You know, that's just tells you that Motolab understands the beginning to the end. It's nice to produce a pretty product, but if you can't sell it, it doesn't matter. We try to do all that we can so that we can support fashion brands to concentrate on sales because that's tough. And so we understand that and that needs time, that needs connections. Yeah. So it's it's important that everything, everything else is taken care of and that it's perfect. So we, we make sure that that is the case. That's, that's amazing. It's fantastic. Well, Claudia, we thank you so much for no, thank you. <laughs> everything that you do at Moda Lab. And we really, really look forward to working with you again. Claudia and I talked about possibly when she goes to uh, one of her factories doing an on-site like factory tour. We yeah, love factory tours. Yes, definitely. That that would be I'll be in Italy at the end of September. Great. So yeah, we're creating some content at factories for some of our clients. So yeah, definitely. Oh, that's yeah. Amazing. Yeah, people love seeing at the factories. People love seeing your showrooms and all the things you're doing. So thank you for getting on today with us and sharing all of those things. My and, pleasure. And talking a little bit about your business and the insights, where you came from and all of the things that you offer. That's 
tremendous. And hopefully people enjoyed listening to us today. Marge and I from Fashion Index I really love to share these things. And I'm so glad that Claudia from Moda Labs was able to, to do this with us today. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So good to see you. And I'm happy. We're, we're so excited to help as many people learn about Moda Lab as possible. Thank you. you guys are the best. It's amazing. Thank you. Well, take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.